Hello Makers welcome back to our channel. In today's video help you build your own mechanical keyboard. I use SolidWorks for the base design. The modeling involves simple extrusion and cut commands. Just make sure the dimensions fit with the PCB holes. I've also left space for a customizable nameplate on the front and a USB Type-C connection at the back. There is also a holder for your Bluetooth receiver. Don't forget to add rounded fillets to the edges for a smoother touch. For the slicing, we input the models into Flashprint 5. The part is relatively big so, we are printing with Guider 3 Ultra. Adjust the position, then apply basic auto support. Here we enable Brim in expert mode for better stability and adhesion. Everything looks good, let's move on to the printing. Set up the printer. It's time to witness the layer by layer construction. We use the burnt titanium for this base and it looks awesome. You are free to try more colors and different materials. Pay attention to silk cloth as they are less stronger than cloth. So you'll need more care in handling. Base is ready. Let's go to the keycaps part. For 3D printing the keycaps, I discovered the key to project that offers a keycap library. To start, install OpenScan. With this software you can do modeling simply by coding your parameters. For instance, you can tweak the legend function, font size, support type, and corner radius. More options can be modified in the setting file. We also coded a version with a complete 60% layout for you to print all keycaps in one file. This compact keyboard has fewer keys, making it more lightweight and portable. Printing the keycaps is accomplished with Adventure 5M. After importing, adjust the position and angle of the part. In expert mode, set the layer height to 0.12 mm, enable the raft, and switch on surface ironing in flash print. These settings are for better detail and smoother surface of the part. Set up Adventure 5M printer for the keycaps. And print the keycaps into two half sets. Now, let's bring everything together. This reminds me of countryside memories. When I helped Chuck in Cornwall. Use a soldering iron to heat up the nut for easy installation. Pay attention to the high temperature and use a long nose plier for assistance. 
The PCB we use is Melgeek's Mojo 60 and the open source 60 from Geek Hack. Stack up the location board, pour on foam, TCB and fix them together. Time for the field test. This will be a whole new 3D printing and typing adventure that you definitely need to try. We have even more designs. Which design do you like the most? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, stay chill.